If you've watched my channel for any length of time, then you've probably already been able to infer that I'm quite the Apple stan. I know that that's not the most popular thing amongst all of you leet hackers, but hey, I like what I like, all right? The user interface is clean to me. I do know that a lot of features tend to lag behind other products like Samsung, but once they are finally rolled out, they do integrate within the Apple environment in a really nice and pleasant way. Also, the level of privacy and security in Apple devices is something that is actually a real benefit. In nowhere or is that being proven more than in iOS 16? We're gonna look at the security features in iOS 16 that I'm the most excited about and be sure to stay until the end of this video where I name the security feature that I am most excited about within this update. So let's jump into these security feature updates that I'm very excited about in iOS 16. And if it excites you, hit that like button and drop a comment on your favorite feature. And if you don't have a favorite feature or if you don't use Apple, then just comment frowny face, very sad. The first feature is password editing and management. Now, Apple has had its own type of password manager of sorts with Apple Keychain. And while I use that, I also use another password manager at NordPass. And you can also get NordPass. There's an affiliate link down below. But I'll combine both because unfortunately, Keychain doesn't integrate the easiest with Windows. So I'll use NordPass really to kind of bounce between different operating systems as I go. However, a key feature about NordPass and most other password managers is that you can actually configure how the password that you are creating is created. You can choose the types of characters, the length, and other kinds of things like that based on the website to be able to make the strongest and most really compliant password that you can. Unfortunately, Keychain up to this point hasn't had that feature, so it's great to see that you can finally do that on iOS 16. It's definitely something that I think is long overdue. Another cool feature that they're adding with this is the ability to change and even delete Wi-Fi passwords. I'm very excited to jump through this because I know that there's a lot of Wi-Fi networks works over the years that I need to make sure that I forget and log out. So I don't want to get zapped by a rogue AP. The so next thing, and this is actually pretty sick as well as pasteboard permissions. You can now configure which apps have access to your pasteboard. So if you copy text, you know, certain apps, if you don't trust them enough, will not be able to read or write to your pasteboard. That's pretty sick. That really gives you a pretty intimate level of toggleability. See if that's a word, say that three times, to your overall privacy and security on your device. Rapid security response is another feature that I like and yet at the same time I'm also kind of confused why it's listed here and it wasn't already implemented in the first place. As a lot of you will know a lot of these updates between the big feature updates are mainly security updates and they'll come out to patch either vulnerabilities that have been discovered or other kinds of various miscellaneous fixes that don't really need to wait until the next feature update. So rapid security response seems to be basically implementing a faster rollout for those security patches and fixes. I would imagine this would be somewhat similar if not even a little bit more expedient than Windows Patch Tuesday where they'll implement a number of security features every Tuesday. It would be cool to see something like that with iOS where you're constantly getting security patches and it would be great to kind of see Apple really take this seriously and run with it and roll it out really simply and easily so even users don't even recognize that they're getting these security patches. They just download in the background. But of course like all things I'm sure that will be toggleable. Another feature that Apple has had that they're expanding on is hiding your email. So if you have your email with your iCloud or your Apple account, in the past you've been able to actually hide or obfuscate that email from different websites and services that you use your Apple ID to log into. And that gives you some level of privacy with those sites. They're expanding that to now work within apps. So you can hide your email within the different apps that you're using. And I think that's pretty sick. This is another feature that I'm kind of surprised wasn't already there beforehand, but hey, I'm, I'm glad to see it now. The next thing that I'm excited about is notes locking and this is actually phenomenal. If you have important notes that are a bit more sensitive and you wanna keep private, then you can actually end-to-end -end encrypt them and you can lock them so it will require authentication just to open and make edits to the note now in notes. Now this is sick. In the past, if you wanted to use a feature like this, you would have had to go to a third-party app and that can actually be pretty annoying because if you wanna use those same notes on another device, then you it would have to have some sort of cloud syncing to be able to sync the changes you make on one device with another, but here, it 
it will do it all within the Apple Notes app and it will be more secure and I love that. This feature is also coming to photo album. So you can lock photo albums that are a bit more sensitive that you want to have encrypted and locked from other people. Any opportunity to give a user more toggleability for their security and more abilities to be able to lock down their own user experience, I'm all for. And I really think that Apple in this update is going for enhanced defense and privacy. Now, all of those features are super legit and I'm very excited about all of them. But this next feature is what I am most excited for. This next feature is hitting that like button because this video is helpful. Okay, sorry, that's not it, but let's jump into it now. I'm most excited for Apple's rollout of pass keys. So the idea behind pass keys is the total elimination of passwords. If you've seen my video about FIDO authentication, then you know that passwords are on their way out and Google, Apple, and Microsoft are each by the end of 2022 trying to roll out FIDO authentication as an option for users. If you haven't seen that video yet, then wait a minute, I'll link you to that video in just a moment. But passwords kind of suck. They can be cracked, they can be stolen, they can be forgotten. They're really not the best solution for security. And while something like a password manager like NordPass can actually make that process a heck of a lot more secure and easy, you know, it's still not necessarily perfect. And that's not to say that pass keys are perfect, but they are probably a step in the right direction. Apple, Google, and Microsoft all believe that FIDO authentication is the future, and that's where pass keys come in with this up. So if you want to learn more about FIDO authentication, check out this video because it is very beneficial to know what the future of security will look like. And no, passwords aren't going anywhere. Sad day. So you should definitely get NordPass to bridge the gap. With all that, comment with your favorite feature and I will see you all next time. Bye.